Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be focusing on two things. The first being how to manually test our functions and the second being how to test with the sample tests that have been provided to you. So when we are manually testing our code, there are two ways we can do this. We can either test in the idle shell or we can test with a file. So first, to test with the idle shell, we can open our program and here we've got a blank uh, version of the A1 file and in it we're going to create uh, our function. In this case we're going to write check win we're going to spell it correctly and then we are just going to return hello. Uh, now we can save and run and then we can enter our function and give it our parameters and run it. And As we expected it returned hello to the shell. Now the second way we can test our code is with a file so to do this, we create a new file, and in the file we are going to first import a1, and then we are going to print our check win function, and save it. So we're going to call this one test and then we can run it. And as you can see it has also returned hello to the shell. So now that I have written up a good part of my solution and I've got most of my functions implemented I want to check my code uh, to see uh, how I'm going so I want to I'm going to use the sample tests that have been provided on Blackboard. Just a reminder with the sample tests is that they're only a subsection of all the tests we're going to be running to check your functionality after you submit your assignment. So you need to make sure that you're also manually testing your code to ensure that it's working as it should be. Now I've already downloaded these three files off Blackboard and I'm going to be using them to run the sample tests. So we're going to start by opening sample test A1 and then we are going to run it. Now we're given this output here and let's have a look and see what it means. So from here I can see that I've passed 36 tests, I've skipped none and failed one. So where did I go wrong? If we look up here we can see the different uh, sections uh, that are being tested. So test design, test swap position and these give you a pretty good idea of what function uh, we were testing uh, at each point. So if we're looking here we can see test swap position only has passed four out of five times and then the fifth test we can see test swapping characters at the same index is where our issue is. If we go further down we get the output of this test and we can see uh, where we may have gone wrong. If we look here uh, we've given a line with uh, a minus symbol, so this was what we, uh, what our output was. Uh, we've got a line here with a question mark, which is a general indication of what is incorrect with our output. Uh, and at here, we've got a plus symbol indicating what we should have output. So if we look at the middle line, uh, the dash is si situated under a D. And if we look at the line below, we've only got 1D compared to our 2Ds up here. So this is where we went wrong in this uh, particular section of our code. So now we can go back and fix it and try running the test again. 